Okay, NJ, Route22.com here with a supermarket uh, vlog, uh, supermarket roundup today. We've got some big news, kind of. Um, I'm gonna try and get through this in a sensible way. Uh, ShopRite, well, let, let's just start with the, get some other things out of the way first. Nothing really to talk about at King's this week that's uh, worth going. We go there for convenience only, not for their sales, okay? That's the truth. And again, if you've been watching these videos, the Stop and Shop, I like their ads, but uh, I'm not a big fan of the company um, and the quality. I think something's missing when you have a, like a multi-billion dollar uh, global uh, corporation running running the local food market. I, I'm not a big fan of Stop and Shop, so we're not gonna talk about them. There's two big things to talk about this week. We have Bishops uh, of White House, New Jersey, uh, IGA, it's like an independent grocer's uh, co-op. Um, they have a new ad this week. Uh, and I'm not a big fan of it. it. I like their old ad better for some reason. The new one, they, it, they have this new thing called Love It. That's their big, uh, they have a new marketing. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Everything's love it. I'm not a big fan of the new uh, ad, honestly. Uh, but we shop at Bishop's in White House because it's a local, uh, independently owned uh, uh, supermarket. So we'll continue shopping there, but I'm not a big fan of their, their, their new flyer. So we won't talk about anything specific on sale this week either. But the big news is, in my opinion, is ShopRite. Last week they said they have a new, uh, new look coming. And this is their old look and this is their new look. You know, as you can see here, it, it, there's some visual differences. I, I like the old one better. It was a little bit cluttered and messy, and the new one is, uh, there's a little bit more white space. I think they took the design, graphic design 101, and added more white space. As you can see, the, look at the white space here compared to here. I mean, this obviously has a lot more going on, but the, the fonts were bigger, and, and the, the it was just something about the old one I like better. So that's your, I'll move my flyer here. That's your, your decision, uh, your, your opinion may be different. You may like the new look. I, I don't like it, it's actually harder to read for me. The, the fine print is, uh, not everybody has 20-20 vision either. So let's just talk real quick. We'll get right to the things I marked off on this week's flyer. Um, they have this new thing, the chef, I've, I noticed this in the meat cooler. Chef Curtis Stone inspired seasoned ground beef. And they're on sale, I think, uh, they're normally four bucks a pound. And I looked at the, they're like all these different flavors. Uh, seasoned, spicy, some have like a different taco flavor. They're, there's all these artificial ingredients in them. I, I don't think I'm a big fan of these seasoned ground beefs. And they had a lot of carbs in them. I, 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 I'm not gonna buy them. I maybe mean, I'll taste it. This, this, this guy here, Chef uh, Curtis Stone. Let's take a look at him. What the hell? There's more pages, I think, in, in, in the new flyer, too. That's Chef Curtis Stone. I, I'm not a, uh, I'm gonna taste it, I guess, just, but I, I don't think I wanna put those uh, artificial ingredients in my, uh, in my body. And also the coupons, these coupons are microscopic now. They really are, you can hardly read them. I don't know, I'm not, uh, I'm not buying it. They apparently they have, the, the, read, the new look is that it's easier to read and it's, uh, it's uh, compartmentalized. I, I, I'm not sure I, I uh, like the new look. So let's talk about what else we have here. Again, the bacon, $3.99. That's the max we pay for bacon, period. And sabrettes, uh, those are on our radar. We love, we love the sabrettes. Three, I think they had them cheaper for a while, $1.99 a pack. Um, and here's something interesting that I'd like to talk about. Hellman's and, and, and different condiments. Ketchup is usually a, uh, a very sugary thing, and people that like to drown their french fries or burgers in ketchup, you're adding a lot of sugar to your diet there. And uh, I've actually recently taken ketchup out of the rotation, and I just use mustard. Mustard has zero carbs, and it, it's pretty good. Mustard on everything, you know? But apparently Hellman's has this new uh, ketchup that's sweetened with honey, which is a, a, a less refined sweetener. Um, I don't know. And Sir King Kensington's apparently is, uh, they have good mayo. That's expensive as heck for mayo, but it doesn't have soybean uh, oil in it, which is, you know, 
not good for men to eat. And I haven't checked into the ketchup and that may have some kind of um, decent uh, sweetener. But I don't know, I, I stay, I'm trying to stay away from ketchup. So what else do we have in the flyers here? See, I'm telling you, it's, it, I'm not sure I like it. I mean, they, they have these things here, these hidden, uh, you gotta read every damn word to find out what's on sale. So I, I don't know what, what, what the reason is for this and if it, what kind of person came up with the reason to, uh, to, to change the, the layout. But, okay, and here's something interesting. I don't know, Melissa's Catch the Hatch Roasting Chilies. Uh, this is something that's going to be at three different uh, shop rights. One in Greenwich, which is Phillipsburg. Uh, Bethlehem, I mean, I'm sorry, Easton, PA, and Flemington. They, I guess they're uh, having this special one day, once a year, um, roasting chilies. I'll have to check that out, but I'm, I'm actually not gonna go out of my way. If, I'm, if I happen to be out there, um, I'll check it out. Odds are I won't, because I'm gonna forget. So, that's it. Uh, this is the big news, the big new uh, layout for two of the uh, supermarkets around here, a Bishops and Shoprite. So I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan. It's oh, here's one thing that's on sale this week. You might, if you go to Shoprite and you look for toothpaste, almost every single option has fluoride in it. For people who don't want fluoride, uh, Tom's of Maine is their only one. I think they might have another one. I forget the brand, but that you have like one or two options to get no fluoride in your toothpaste. Oh, and another thing that's about the vitamins. I'm not a big fan of any of the vitamins at Shoprite, but the Nature's Bounty ones seem to be the most legit for us. Uh, that's just anecdotal experience, but they're half price starting this coming Sunday, so. I, I take a couple, you know, cinnamon uh, is good, and 5-HTP uh, I've had success with. And that's it, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about avocados. You know, the price fluctuates week to week. I mean, four for five is good. I like them when they're a dollar or less. Aldi in uh, Flemington usually sometimes has them for like 50 cents a pop. But something I've been noticing, they have these mini avocados. Um, they're like half the size, and you get like six or seven, five or six or seven in a bag. They are, uh, we've had the best luck with those in terms of the rottenness of it. Um, we don't, when you buy the four for five, sometimes half of them go bad really fast. The mini ones we've had a lot of success with, like like a 90 or 95% success rate. So if you ever see those mini ones, give them a shot. Don't be afraid. And that's it. What do you think of the new layout? I'm, jury's out for me. I'm, I'm, I'm erring on the side of I like the old one better, but uh, Change is good, as they say. Have a nice weekend, and that's it.